Einen wunderschönen guten Morgen, meine sehr verehrten Damen und Herren. Uh, welcome, Schön, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, albeit the evening function yesterday, you are here, come to the event, and uh, as a warm-up, I'd like you to think about one question. Think about your city, your home. Do people have contact with one another that do not know one another? or that are totally different from one another in a way that they are that they have some rapport uh, or that, do they think about whether they could provide some added value so people that do not know one another that are very different in their culture and so on do they approach one another and do they think about you know, providing some added value so we also thought about that in Turin in my city and we said, of course, we want to have uh, some commonalities. And that is why we have the initiative founded the city of being together. And uh, I'd like to answer four questions. Firstly, how political is this initiative? Secondly, are there any positive effects that come out of it? Thirdly, what are the conditions that need to be met in order to succeed? And fourthly, what do we do specifically? First question, is it really, is it rather a political initiative? Now, this initiative is not based on party policy. This is across party boundaries. Because it wouldn't work otherwise. But it is a very political initiative, indeed. And I want to quote uh, Reverend Anselm Grün, a German theologist, who said that it is the innate task of politics to support uh, the community so that they have added value and that the community has sustainable future. So politics should link people with one another, bring people together. So we know the movers and shakers and presidents that have never heard about such a definition. But there are also others that know about it and that really put up on effort. They see to it that there is some social justice for economic growth, support infrastructure, and then they stop. And that's bad, because they hope that after having done everything that now the people will uh, live happily in the future. And that's not enough. It's like an a marathon when you run it that if you stop hundreds of meters before uh, the finishing line. So it is important that politicians also uh, see to it that, uh, that it works for the future and that they have to act. Second question is what positive effects do we have? Now, it is like a closet like uh, remedy, a lot of remedies with some toxic uh, things. So there can be ag aggressiveness, hate, lack of respect. Second, this initiative it goes together with recognized scientific um, results and conclusions. So our city uh, has the support of Gerald Hütter, a German scientist, and uh, he said that whether someone is uh, happy or not depends mainly what kind of community this person really is. So the embedding is important. You can only uh, unleash your potential when you are embedded in the community in a good way. You cannot do it on your own. Every human being wants to be connected to the community, but also wants to show what he or she can do. Goethe, I'd like to quote him, said, every human being needs wings, but also roots. And then, of course, you also have those hard, tough guys that really don't want to focus on soft issues like social matters. So the wimps, but it's not about wimps, not at all, because I also convinced the business people that if you want to satisfy uh, the needs for human beings in the community, and if people can also fulfill their potential, you will also have prosperity. You will have uh, the condition that are good for businesses too. Third, what kind of conditions do we need in order for our project to succeed? And uh, of course, we again had a German scientist although we have a lot of Austrian scientists, of course, too. Uh, Mr. Bauer uh, uh, said that what 
but to start to get uh, from a new scientific view. And one thing is uh, that cannot be influenced by us. So a lot of people should have uh, or have actually the capability to have empathy. So we cannot influence this because empathy uh, is being developed at early childhood in a way that children are brought up in surroundings uh, where they are led by example by parents. For boys, for instance, the fathers are very important. But there is a second point where we can make a difference and uh, where we can uh, make a difference. And this is about uh, storytelling big storytelling that uh, will lead to positive feelings. So narration and storytelling is very powerful. And we want to do this in a way we say, you are good off in when the community is good off or well off. Or in other words, it is an option for you to be well off if the community is well off. So you can contribute. You, you're supposed to contribute for the common good. And of course, this nice slogan isn't sufficient enough. We also need specific implementation. And for this, and this is uh, now a recommendation for future finance ministers for, for you, well, this costs money. So you need to hire experts that will focus on steering and management of the projects. The management has three tasks with us. First task is to motivate people individually by talking to them that people will do something on their own. They have to do something. Not the community should organize a program that can be booked like a, a dancing course. No, no. It is about, and now I quote Gerald Hütter, that community intelligence is not being created by administering in a better way, but by enabling the people to shape their community themselves. So do it yourself, DIY. So we need to get the people to do this. We give some impulses. I mean, we cannot uh, impose it because it would be a totalitarian approach. We can say, fellows, lads, maybe do a football uh, competition. Or those that like cooking, they may exchange recipes. We have hundreds of examples at our website. So we have hundreds of examples on our website. And if you're interested, you can go to www.stadtdesmiedenanders.at where uh, we describe everything very uh, precisely. And one of the most successful formats are the so-called um, community festivities in German Grätzelfest. So this is a neighborhood function or neighborhood party, like a block party or a street party, and neighbors organize festivities. Sounds quite mundane, but it's really successful. So we offer banks and tables, furniture, and if necessary, also the beer. Well, so uh, we've had not less than 30 uh, neighborhood festivities. And if you um, multiply it, and then people know one another, they create some report. And they know that I am living together with those people in my city. And the second thing is that there are some things that uh, cannot be delegated. Those things are rather di difficult, such as inclusion. But it's also a matter of dialogue between the religions. And we have made it experience that all uh, spiritual leaders, so um, priests, Croatian, Serbian Orthodox priests, evangelical reverends, Catholic priests, and the Muslim imam, they were all invited to meet one another. And believe it or not, they didn't know one another before. And now they've become best friends. 
they exchange information, they see that they all actually are transcending the same message, and so they bring the idea of uh, common ground to their communities. And uh, the third thing we do is that Aside of those very clear cost measures, we also go back to the narration, so the soft power issues. We have presentations by Gerhard Hütter, Joachim Bauer, and one event was proved to be really successful. End of the year, we invite all people that uh, really made a difference by being very friendly, very helpful, uh, and kind, so called event Heroes of the Hearts. So the public is nominating 60 to 70 people, and the effect uh, is superb because uh, people are getting recognized because what they've done. Uh, and we have the message that we have a functioning community uh, that is healthy, and we can also get this message across. So, ladies and gentlemen, I wish you a lot of power and strength. All of us, I wish uh, that we will focus on one thing, namely the focusing on what humanity has been doing for thousands of years, namely cooperation. And we should tell this big story, because if we do not tell the story, then others will tell the story, probably people that are not really suited like narcissists or racists or nationalists that only strive to power. So if uh, we can get that message across that you have sparked with ACT NOW, then I'm safe for the future and we will have to stay in the future. Thank you.